good. Yeah, it was good. I'm out, you know, you're, just, you're out here day one. You're, you're putting in base install stuff and with no pads on, so it's a pretty simple day. Uh, but good attitude, good, uh, I like the, the energy. Coach Malik, Malik, huh? Coach, uh, Malik Davis looked uh, pretty healthy after uh, suffering a broken foot in September. Uh, tell me, how has he progressed in terms of uh, his health, and uh, what are we expecting from him from the spring? Well, he's healthy, so that's good. So hopefully he stays healthy and gets through the spring and gets the opportunity. You know, I mean, missed, uh, missed a good deal of playing time last year, so, I mean, just really getting comfortable within the offense, uh, you know, and getting the reps to get him ready to play for the season. Is he 100%? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I think a lot of difference because I think, you know, last year nobody had any idea what to expect coming out on day one. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, guys know what, you know, especially you get into the ones, you know, the, the guys that have played or been around the program a little bit more, they, you know, they, it's not like it's all new. They, I think everybody moves a little bit quicker. They know what to expect from what practice should be like. But also they know about their offense. They know the offense. They know the defense a little bit. So, uh, you know, they, it, not bad really, but to be honest with you, by some of the new guys and young guys, that haven't played a whole lot coming out here. And, and, you know, there'll be a lot of mistakes made on film, but we'll go correct that. How do you think that some of those new guys and young guys did, especially those early ones? Well, we'll see. I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know, we'll see what they look like in the locker room afterwards, if they're like kind of like shell-shocked or, you know, they're kind of excited about it. But, uh, you know, I, I think the great thing for them, they, get, they got here early and there's going to be a lot of opportunities and guys are going to get a lot of reps uh, out there on the field. And so, I mean, they – everybody's competing to get some reps and so you know they're going to have that opportunity and a, and a good you know uh, for them to see if they take advantage of it obviously you guys didn't do a lot today but today was coming out officially your first time seeing your team take the field after their off season with nick savage just seeing the shape that they're in when you feel like the job he and all the other coaches did oh he do, i mean they do a great job our strength uh, you know the off season conditioning plan i mean they they develop them physically mentally and 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 for their health you know i mean not just to get bigger faster stronger but to get mentally and physically tougher uh, but also for you know for health purposes of getting them uh uh, you know, stability, be able to come out here on a day like today. And, and uh, you know, we, we did a little bit of uh, open things up, do some full speed running. So, you know, you got to be careful today's you come out on the field, you go want to compete a little bit and you start opening up. That's when you, you, you've seen some injuries in the past and, sure. and uh, they were able to stay, everybody stayed pretty healthy. You were addressing the team after practice and you told the new guys today was first day install and then next day install. So there's kind of just, there's no stopping. Yeah, well, I think when you're a young guy, I mean, you're like, okay, I got through today. You know, and then all of a sudden we come out here to the next practice, all new plays, all, all new offense, all new defense. And, uh, you know, and then all of a sudden you come out the next day and it's a whole new offense, a whole new defense. And you come out the fourth day and we review something we did day one and they're like, you know, what was that? Like, <laughs> uh, so just talk about that benefit of spring is you have a day tomorrow to really digest it. And, you know, talk to them. They got to know it now. I mean, that's been taught, that's been installed. You got to know that. I'm sorry. And then, so when the next you come back, the next time we come to it, you have to know it. Uh, sorry. Do you hope they have older guys in their position groups that can, can help them do that? Well, I think our guys do. They help out. You know, I mean, you got guys that are comfortable that coach them up and are able to, you know, they, I think, you know, be able to spend some time. Hopefully, you see guys that have spent a bunch of time in the off season, putting in a little extra film work, a little extra study, so there's confidence. Uh, you know, and they, you know, spend a little bit extra time even in spring. You know, I mean, we have we have our time, we have our, our meeting time. But, uh, you know, we'll come in tomorrow, we'll lift and meet, lift and meet, and you get a little bit over an hour meeting tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot more to, than you can I mean, you put in more than an hour in in the next 48 hours if you want to really learn it. But you got to put that in a little extra on your own. Kind of the quarterbacks, especially the young guys. They're fine, I guess. I mean, there's no, no pads on <laughs> yeah. out there. So, uh, you know, I mean, well, I mean, there's only really one young guy. Jalen, I can't – I thought he did okay. I mean, it looked, it looked like he didn't, he didn't, didn't like, forget how to snap the ball or call a snap. I mean, sometimes you get guys come out day one and, you know, there's so much going on in their head. They, you know, they say they're you know, ready, set, go from high school or whatever snap count they used in high school. And uh, – yeah, you know, I don't even know how to use a cadence. So, but he seemed to manage to be able to at least get the ball snapped. It's like seeing Ethan White run around out there today, all the weight that he's dropped. He's lost some weight. He's worked hard at it. You know, I mean, here, here, you know, we got some young alignment, but there's a lot of opportunity. You know, with uh, you know, with guys leaving early with a transfer, and uh, you know, and some injuries at that position.
yeah. uh, a lot of opportunities for young guys. You know, I mean, there's a there's a there's a lot of a lot of opportunities on the O line. Somebody's got to claim them, and uh, so it's it's uh, it, you know for those young guys, it's a great opportunity. And then with White coming in at the weight that he was, did you guys always always know as a staff that once he could get that down? potential that he had as a player yeah I mean I thought I mean we, we had him we recruited him knew a lot about him so yeah. um, you know I mean for for a while so um, but you know I mean they, that happens with kids you know I mean there's very very rarely are high school kids coming in 100% ready to go especially on the line you know I mean sure. a lot of some guys are gaining weight some guys are losing weight some guys are getting stronger more flexible there's a lot of Deed development weight. at that position and uh, you know and so you know, sometimes take some of the skinnier guys and you look at the bigger guys and say, hey, why don't you go fix your dinner plate and switch? <laughs> and, and uh, you know, then eventually you'll put on the weight and he'll lose the weight. And, uh, you know, I mean, you keep, all right, just take what you've been eating and you know, just switch it. And the smaller guy, the big guy will get smaller, and the smaller guy will get bigger. Has Langham grown into a defensive tackle now, or is it just kind yeah, of? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, you know, I mean, trying to, uh, position flexibility is important for us. So a guy's got to be able to play multiple positions. Chico Coco wasn't out there today. Is everything all right with him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's sore hamstring or something, uh, but, it, you know, he's fine. Do you think Noah Banks will participate later? I'm not sure. You know, I mean, he had a, he had that issue at the bowl game, and, they, you know, they're still uh, – his is this is a very unique deal. You know what I mean? Like, you got – I mean, hey, man, I got a, a strained hamstring, I'm going to miss two days, or I got to miss – you know, I got a sprained ankle, I'm going to miss this amount of time. When you have – uh, you know the, the the medical the history he has and, and uh, it's it's a very different deal uh, so there's really no time frame to judge any of it uh, but you know we'll see as he keeps keeps you know progressing forward. You saw Chris still in there for a lot when Marco couldn't go. Yeah. Against. How do you also how do you get him acclimated while tempering expectations with a high recruit like that? I don't temper expectations. He's, you know, he's getting. I mean, think of this, right? There's a couple corners down. Um, you got, you know, Marco and Jaden aren't practicing right now, so he's got his opportunity. You know, and, I, and uh, uh, he'll get some experience. He'll get some reps. Similar deal happened to Trey Dean last year. Uh, you know, and when his number was called, he was ready. So I think it's a great experience for him to get extra reps this spring. How do you think he did? I have no idea. I watched <laughs> watched the film. <laughs> That's good. I mean, he looks happy. You mentioned <laughs> position versatility. Um, Kyle Pitts working a lot with the receivers. Is that yeah. a guy you don't really want to play position yeah. on? Yeah. No, I don't like I don't like having positions on anybody because I want we you know the more flexibility you have, the harder you are to match up on. And uh, you know, so I mean, the guys that can play running back and receiver and tight end, and we can move you out all different positions, even with our receivers. I want you know if you can only play one receiver. Yeah, if I can move you around, you create mismatch problems. So the more flexibility you have on in ever, everywhere on the field, uh, the more mismatch problems you can create. Is there a specific reason to him working on hands, working on his footwork and routes more? Just becoming a good player. <laughs> Coach, talk about the fans coming out. That's great. Practice. You know, I mean, it, always here. You know, you love to see the excitement for everybody. Uh, as we get to kick off, you know, the spring, uh, you know, I know we got a big baseball game tonight, and so a lot of the fans of baseball got to come see it. And, uh, but... You know, anytime you come out here, you get to see the support they have and the passion the Gator Nation has is, uh, is pretty special. And, uh, you know, I think it always motivates the players.